Are you tired of the same old robotic text-to-speech AI voices? Are you sick of paying exorbitant fees for these AI voices? Do you dream of creating your own custom text-to-speech AI voices on your own computer? Well, today is your day. Because this is the ultimate local text-to-speech AI video ever so that you can replace yourself with the clickable button. Hello humans, my name is K, your ear overload, and oh boy, sit tight, because today I'm going to show you the ultimate way to get the best text-to-speech AI voices on your local computer. And I'll be showing you a range of methods, from the super lazy 10 seconds voice cloning, to the ultimate uber absolute best text-to-speech voice possible. I even made a little graphic to help you visualize because of how many things I'm going to show you today. So that no matter who you are and what your goals are, you will get the best results possible to suit your needs. So sit back, relax and let's begin. Ok, so let's start by installing all of these softwares first and then I'll explain all the different methods. And to install these you have two ways. The first is of course by using the one-click installer that is available for my Patreon supporters. Just download the two links onto your computer. Then before the install you need to actually launch the FFmpeg install as admin. This is the only file that you need to run as administrator because it will install FFmpeg and will automatically add it to path. And the second is the ultimate to speech auto installer. So just double click it and then it will ask you which web UI you want to install. Now for this video I'm going to choose 4 because I'm going to install all of them but if you want to install a particular web UI for your particular needs you can do it as well and then you're going to press enter and then it will automatically begin the installation. Oh and also after each install is complete do not forget to close the window, press no if it asks you so that the next installation can start. So that in the end all the three web UI are installed automatically. Simple as that. You don't need to do anything. And the second way to install these is of course the manual way. So for this make sure that you have Python, Git for Windows, FFmpeg and the C++ build tools installed onto your computer before doing the installation. So then first we're gonna install the XTTS web UI. So you're gonna click the description down below, you're gonna arrive on this page, you're gonna click on this code button, then on this icon to copy this entire line, then inside the folder you're gonna click on the folder path, type cmd, press enter, and here we're gonna clone the repository, so you're gonna type git clone and then paste the URL of the repository, then press enter, then we're gonna go inside the folder and then we're gonna simply launch the install.bat file and this will automatically start the installation. So after this is done we're gonna install XTTS fine-tuned web UI, which is very similar to the first web UI. So once again, click the second link in the description down below, then click on code, copy this entire URL, then once again clone the repository like we did before, then we go inside the folder and then just like the other one we're gonna run the install.bat file. So then finally we're gonna install the third web UI, so once again we're gonna copy the URL, then copy the repository, then we go inside the folder, then we're gonna create a new python environment with this command, then we're gonna activate the environment, then we're gonna install torch and torch audio with this command, then we need to install the requirements with this command and there you go. So now that we have all of our web UIs installed, where do we actually begin? Well let's start from the very beginning, from the very easiest, that requires the least amount of effort and work, and that is the simple quick cloning with 10 seconds of audio. That's right, you only need 10 seconds of an audio clip to be able to clone that voice and use it as much as you want. And we're gonna do that inside the XTTS web UI. So to do this, you're gonna go inside the XTTS web UI folder and then launch the start XTTS web UI.bat file. It will then download a bunch of stuff and then the web UI will launch automatically. So once you are inside the web UI you will see a bunch of stuff. But I can tell you right now, actually uh, this web UI is a little broken, meaning that the only real tab that you can use is the simple text to voice tab. But don't worry it's absolutely fine, this is the only thing that we really need anyway. So then how exactly do we use this? Well first it's very simple, all you need to do is just input the text right here, input the text that you want your voice to read, so something like I don't know, hey guys what's up or any text that you want there is absolutely no character limit but this is just like an example so then you're gonna scroll down you're gonna choose your language you do have a choice of a bunch of different languages which is really really cool then you're gonna scroll down here in this little section you're gonna upload your 10 seconds of voice clip but you can also do less if you have like a voice clip between 5 and 10 seconds this is more than enough so like for example I uploaded this clip from like an Obama interview that is around like 38 seconds long and in here without changing anything you can just click generate and in only a few seconds like it took me like two seconds to generate we get something like this hey guys 
What's up? And well, there you go. This is it. This is basically like the easiest and laziest way to generate text to speech from an existing audio clip. And what's really cool is that there's basically like no limit of character. I mean, there is probably a limit, but it is very, very high. So you can just like copy and paste like this whole paragraph, like the script from the B movie, and then just simply click generate. And in only a few seconds, it should very quickly generate your audio file ready to be used. According to all known laws of aviation, there is no way a bee should be able to fly. So so yeah, there you go. Now obviously this is not perfect, but you will see that very later on, we will make it much much better. But as I said previously, this is the laziest way to create text-to-speech on your local computer using the quick cloning technique with 10 seconds of audio. Now don't worry, we're gonna come back to this web UI later, but for now this is the end of the first method. But how do we make it even better? Well, how about instead of using the default text-to-speech XTTS model, we train our own XTTS model. That's right, we're gonna train our own text-to-speech model from scratch, which is why this is called the medium text-to-speech method. We're gonna fine-tune our XTTS model using only 2 minutes of audio. That's right, not 10 minutes, not 20 minutes, only 2 minutes required. It is actually really, really easy and super fast. So for this, we need to use the XTTS Fine Tune Web UI. So you're gonna go inside the folder and then launch the start.bat file. And it will then give you a local URL that you can just hold control and then left click to open in your browser. So from this, all you really need, as I said previously, is only an audio file with 2 minutes of audio and that you're gonna upload right here. Now I'm actually gonna give you a little trick because although this is only a two minute voice file because I was extremely lazy. All I did is basically took the 37 seconds of audio that I used previously, and all I did is put this file inside Audacity. Then I selected this entire audio, copied it, and then pasted it multiple times, one after the other, again and again and again, until I had a two minutes of audio. That's right, that's all I really did. So basically, you don't even need two minutes of continuous audio to do a decent training. Now, obviously, it is better if you do. Do. Don't be lazy like me. If you really want a good results, you should definitely strive for something like 10 minutes of audio, especially because you'll be able to use this later on in the video. But once again, if you are really, really lazy, you can do it like me. So basically, once you have inputted the audio, you're gonna leave everything by default. Don't forget, of course, to choose your language. In my case, it is English. Then you're gonna click on this little button, step one, create data set. So depending on how long the audio file is, the longer the formatting will take, and the training doesn't even use a lot of VRAM. So pretty much anyone can use this. So you don't even need a very powerful GPU to do this. So that's really cool. So there you go. For me, it took less than one minute. So now we can click on the second tab where you're basically going to leave everything by default. The only thing that you can change if you really want to is the number of epochs. Now, six for the number of epochs is really like the minimum one. So you might want to increase this to something like 10 or maybe 12. But if this is the first time that you train a XTS model, I definitely recommend leaving everything by default because all of these are super optimized already and they work really, really well. Also, make sure that you always use the 2.0.2 version. This is by far the best version because the 2.0.3 is really not as good. Then you're going to click load parameters from output folder. So once again, just leave everything by default and then simply click run the training and then the training will start. Now I'm not gonna do it because I've already done it before so I'm actually gonna you know stop the training but basically once the training is finished it's just gonna say well training is done you're then gonna click on this little optimize the model button that will basically make the final files much much smaller and easier to use and now if we want to use this you're gonna click on the third tab called inference click load parameters for TTS from output folder it will say that the parameters for TTS were loaded then you're gonna click on this button to load the model and then to test it out basically just input a text and then click inference and after a few seconds we get something like this uh, this model sounds really good and above all it's reasonably fast so yeah as you heard this is much much better this is very very close to the reference audio that we used for training uh, but uh, ultimately i had so much confidence in now, the reason why we do this training is that fine-tuning the XTTS model allows you to train on the accent of the speaker, the way the person speak, the speed, as well as a few quirks. So like, for example, if you listen to the reference audio, uh, but uh, ultimately I had so much confidence 
Yeah. As you can see, there is a lot of like poses, like uh, uh, etc. And all of these poses and quirks and sounds are replicated inside the generated audio. So like, for example, listen to this. Hello, uh, humans. My name is K, your AI overlord. Uh, uh, oh. So yeah, there you go. As you heard in the very beginning, there is a lot of these uh, uh, sounds that were present in the reference audio that are now replicated inside the generated audio. So doing this training, doing this fine tuning, even with the small portion of audio that we had, it was enough for the model to be able to replicate that voice. And now that you have this model, you can use it as much as you want. There is absolutely no limitation. So yeah, there you go, with only 2 minutes of audio, which is actually only 30 seconds of audio, we still managed to train a pretty cool text-to-speech model. But how do we make it even better? That's right, because we're still not done. If you remember, this was only the medium text-to-speech method, because now we can finally start the ultimate text-to-speech combination. And inside that method, there is even three different methods that you can use. But essentially what we're doing is taking the generated audio from text-to-speech and putting it inside RVC to make it even better. Now, if you don't know what RVC is, I definitely recommend you to watch this video first. Otherwise, you're not gonna understand anything from this point onward. Watching this video is essential for the comprehension of the rest of the video, because RVC is absolutely absolutely fantastic. This is seriously one of my favorite softwares of all time, because RVC allows you to basically clone a voice to a basically perfect level. But RVC is only a voice to voice conversion, meaning that you need an initial audio file before doing the conversion. And this is what we're gonna do inside method A, which is a simple conversion. So inside the XTTS web UI, you're gonna input your text, then put the reference audio file and click generate, so that in the end we get something like this. Hello everyone. It's me, Barack Obama. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and leave a like. So once again, not perfect, but it is a quick cloning. So then you're gonna download the file. So then you're gonna launch RVC. Once again, if you are one of my Patreon supporters, just use a one click installer to install this. And then from this point on, either you're gonna train your own voice from scratch, as I showed in my RVC video, or download an existing voice already made by the community so that you can then select it inside the referencing voice. Then you're gonna copy the path of the file and paste it right here, and then simply Simply click convert and after a few seconds we get something like this hello everyone it's me barack obama don't forget to subscribe to my channel and leave a like so yeah as you heard now the voice is much much better i mean this is pretty much the voice of barack obama and that is probably because rvc is the most powerful tool when it comes to cloning voices so once you have created an audio file, you can easily convert it to any voice that you want. And you can of course then use that file for anything you want. But all of that is a lot of work. I mean, coming from XTTS Web UI, then downloading the file, putting it inside RVC. I mean, it's nice and all, but if only there was a way to do it automatically. Hey, hey, boy. Well, there actually is. And that is actually our next method. Using the third Web UI that I haven't talked about yet, called XTTS RVC UI, which basically does everything that we just did automatically. So to use this, you're gonna go inside the XTTS RVC UI folder, then inside the RVCs, you're gonna input the RVC voice model, which is basically the PTH file and the index file, then gonna go back inside voices, you're gonna input the reference voice, which is basically like the 10 seconds of audio that we use for cloning, and then you're gonna come back and launch the start.bat file. And it will then give you a local URL, then you can hold control, then left click, and then it will open the web UI. And then from here, you're gonna choose the language, the RVC RVC model, then the voice sample, then here you're gonna input your text, you can leave everything by default, and then click submit. And in the end, you should get something like this. Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Barack. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and leave a like. So yeah, basically, as you see, it first generated an XTTS audio and then automatically converted with RVC. So basically everything that we did previously, we were first generated with XTTS Web UI and then put it inside RVC, everything was done automatically in one single click. Now it is a nice Web UI to use, although compared to the previous method, it has a little bit less functionality and parameters 
to create the final audio that you want. However, once again, it is like a compromise, it requires less work, so that in the end, you get some easy, good results. And that's really pretty cool. But how do we make it even better? That's right, we are still not done. Well, let's actually take a look at our guide and let's take a look at our Uber text-to-speech method. And what is the Uber text-to-speech method? Well, basically, we're gonna take everything that we did previously and put them all together. So basically, we're gonna take the fine-tuned XTTS model to generate an audio inside the XTTS web UI and then import that inside RVC. Because yes, do not forget that we fine-tuned a model from scratch and we can use this whenever we want. So for this, it's very simple. We're gonna go inside the XTTS fine-tuned web UI folder, go inside fine-tuned models, inside already, and this, what you see right here, is your fine-tuned model. These files are your fine-tuned XTTS models. So what you're gonna do, you're gonna select them, control X to cut them, then we're gonna go inside the XTTS with UI inside models. Now you're gonna create a new folder that you're gonna name the name of your speaker. So in my case, it is Obama. Then we go inside and we paste our files right here. And now if you go back and we launch the web UI, now if you click on select XTTS model version, you will see our Obama XTTS model that we can now use inside the XTTS web UI as much as we want. Simple as that. So once again, just input your text, then input the reference audio, and now you can just click generate. And now we have our final audio generated with our custom Obama model inside the XTTS web UI to give us something like this. Hey guys, so what do you think of this? Pretty cool video, am I right? Subscribe right now. Come on which is already very, very close to the original Obama voice. But of course, we can make it even better by downloading the file, then launching RVC, selecting the reference voice model, inputting the path of the file, just like last time. And now we can click convert. And finally, after a few seconds, we get our final ultimate Uber text-to-speech audio file. Listen to this. Hey guys, so what do you think of this? Pretty cool video, am I right? Subscribe right now. Come on. I mean, come on, this is really, really good. This is pretty much the closest and most powerful text-to-speech that you can do on your local computer right now. With the highest level of quality, the highest level of authenticity, and all of that running on your local computer. Oh, and also, since once again it is the same model, you can use your fine-tuned model inside the XTTS RVC UI. So if you go inside models, XTTS, copy those files, and put it like somewhere else in a separate folder, just in case, and then if you use like the fine tune models. Once again, just copy those files inside the models XTTS folder, control V, replace all the files in the destination, and then it is ready to be used automatically inside the XTTS RVC UI. Simple as that. So yeah, there you go. These were all the methods that you can use to have the best text-to-speech AI models running on your computer. And if you want to have like this little graph so that you always remember what to do, I will make the PDF available for free on my Patreon in the description down below. And talking of Patreon, do not forget that I provide priority support from my Patreon supporters, so if you have any questions whatsoever, do not hesitate to send me a DM and I will try to answer your question as soon as possible. The link for my Patreon will be in the description down below. So yeah, there you go. Now you know pretty much everything there is to know on how to run the best text-to-speech models running on your local computer, so that no matter who you are and what are your project, you can do so without paying some exorbitant fees for some third-party software. So definitely try this out yourself and have some fun. And there we have it folks, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm. Thank you also so much to my Patreon supporters for supporting my videos. You guys are absolutely awesome. You people are literally the reason why I'm able to make these videos, so thank you so much. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.